The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Morning Markets Kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Now, Tommy O'Brien. Good Wednesday morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN. Thanks so much for kicking your trading day off right here with me. 9.06 a.m. We got about 24 minutes to go until the opening bell. And we got some action across the board right now. A lot of stories to jump into. We pick things up with markets in negative territory. S&Ps negative by about eight points this morning, trading at 52.52 as we speak. That's a decline of almost two tenths percent. NASDAQ 100, you're off by about 50 points, about a quarter percent in the red. 18,281. The Dow off, but just barely, 18 points, uh, not even one-tenth percent in the red, 39,489 on the futures. You're talking about a slide of almost 1,000 points, though, from where you were when we opened just Sunday night. And the Russell off by about 5, 2,077, approaching the lows that we had yesterday, intraday at 2,072. The trends are continuing across the board right now. Crude, we're seeing higher prices, higher highs, higher lows. We just got an $86 print in the price of light sweet crude, 86.10 was the high there. We're trading at 85.78 right now. If you haven't filled up your gas tank, folks, go fill it up because the prices are going up at the pump. Speaking of, how about the gold contract, man? Last night, 2308 on the futures. Now, we've seen this happen a couple times, right? You're talking about extreme volatility in the gold contract, but a series of higher highs, higher lows, almost coordinating with what's happened in that crude market. And look at the run we've had since 830. Now, we have ADP private payrolls. We'll jump into that in a moment. Nonetheless, we got some Fed speak out there as well. Rafael Bostic, Atlanta Fed, uh, one cut. We'll jump into that. One cut maybe this year in the last part of the year. Boy, that's a shift in terms of where the market is looking. Nonetheless, we got gold up another $16 on the session, $22.98. Don't forget about that gold report special, folks. You can save 35% off the monthly price. You lock it in forever. That sale only running through this week on the front page of TFNN.com. We jump over to notes and bonds. What do we got? Lower price, higher yield. Not surprising. Boy, we're going to get into the wage data in a moment. That's going to be the story that kicks things off. Ten-year yield. Sitting at about 4.4%. Now, that's right where we were on the program yesterday, right? Zooming in on the action, we got a little bit of a reprieve as you got higher price, lower yield after I got off the program. But look where we were yesterday. The whole 9 o'clock hour, we were right where we were right now. We got the tenure above 4.4% today. And I don't think you're going to get a reprieve today with the news that we got coming out, especially with a little, little bit of Fed speak. And we hear from the chairman himself today as well. So keep your ears tuned for that. The 30-year. Similar action. 117.06 right now. You're negative by 17.6. We got the 30-year approaching the lows of price that we saw yesterday. Just one tick away from that price level. You jump over to the volatility index. We got a 15.43 spike as of yesterday. We're st still sitting above 15 with the volatility index sitting at 15.06 right now. We jump over the dollar. And yeah, the dollar just right where we were yesterday. Makes sense, considering the move, right? Dollar right where we were, where you were at about 10 a.m. yesterday. The dollar at 104.71. We had quite an acceleration on Monday to above 105. But you put the dollar on a daily, and we're approaching a critical level, man. You're bumping up against where we were February 14th. You hit that price point, as I mentioned, on Monday. You back off a bit yesterday. That's a series of higher highs and higher lows, folks. We'll see where we come into the action on the dollar index. All right. And let's kick it off with some jobs data. U.S. companies added 184,000 jobs in March. That is the ADP private payrolls data out at 830 this morning. Gain in private payrolls, broad by industry and company side. So across the board, right? And wages, that's where we're going to kick it off. How about wages rising the most since July for people who change jobs? We're just going to slide right down to the number. How about a nice, easy 10%? Inflation is not going away, folks. If people who are changing jobs are getting a pay raise of 10% and people who are staying in their jobs are getting a pay raise of a median 
not the average, the median pay raise, 5.1%. I'm going to blow up this chart real quickly. Take a look. Now, the bars on this chart have to do with changes in wages for job changers, okay? The black line on this chart has to do with people changing wages if you're staying in the same job. Not surprising if you're staying in the same job, you're not getting rewarded to the same degree if you are changing jobs. But what is so interesting here, okay, is you back it up to last March, okay? Here is last March. Now I'm gonna ballpark here. Last March, if you change jobs, you had a 15% pay raise. If you stayed in the same job, you had about a, what? I'm ballparking here, somewhere between five and 10, a little bit under the halfway point there. We'll call it 7%. You add seven to the five you have now, and I'm not even compounding the five on top of the seven. I'm just adding the two. If you stayed in your job for just the last two years, you have a 12% pay raise, folks, okay? If you're making 100 grand, you're making 112 grand. Okay, if you're making 50 grand, you're making what? $56,000. Okay, substantial pay increases just for the last two years. That's going back to March of 2022. I have to check myself. No, that's two years ago. My goodness. Look at this. I went two years. This is remarkable, man. So, yeah, that's two years. Even a year ago, I was going back two years. That would be a three year number. Man, so two years ago, it was at about 7% as well. Three years ago, yeah. So, a year ago, Excuse me, I'll rephrase. A year ago, it was at about 7%. Two years ago, it was at, what, 7 or 8%. You have to add them all up. So even if you stay in the same job, folks, and you go back, you know, what would be two to three years, you're talking about 7 plus 7 plus 5. You're talking about a 17% pay increase for people staying in the same job. And I'm not even going to do the numbers if you're changing jobs because that one's not as fair because you're not changing now jobs every single year. But guess what? Those changes... In wages for job stayers, add them up. Five plus seven plus eight, maybe. Yeah, you're talking about what? Almost a 20% pay increase just over the last two or three years when people are just staying in the same jobs. Now, what is so remarkable about that is this 5% pay increase is on top of the eight and the seven that they got in the last two years. Pay attention to these numbers, man, and look at the rise. That's not supposed to be what's happening, man. 10%. If you're changing jobs, we have an uptick going on right now. Try and make the case for cutting rates when you're talking about wages still accelerating yet again. That's not what the Fed wants to see, man. Not what they want to see at all. And that's a nice segue to a little bit of Fed speak. Atlanta Fed President Bostic sees only one, Fed, one rate cut this year occurring in the fourth quarter. Yeah, that was just hitting the tape when I came on. There it is as it expands. He was on CNBC. Uh, the central bank official said strong productivity, a rebound in the supply chain, and a resilient labor market are indicating that inflation is going to decline much slower than what many have expected. The quote there, if the economy evolves as I expect, and that's going to be seeing continued robustness in GDP, unemployment, and a slow decline of inflation through the course of the year, I think it would be appropriate for us to do start moving down at the end of this year, the fourth quarter. We'll just have to see whether the data comes in. So as I said, we hear from the Fed president, uh, chairman, I should say, Powell today. We'll see if he reiterates some of those comments. But on the heels of that, on the heels of some hot wage data, on the heels of some pretty strong economic data as well. Yeah, we got yields now at 4.41%. Rising yields in a market where rate cuts keep getting pushed back. And I think it's a legitimate case. How do you make the case that we have to cut multiple times? We've got wage going up 10 and 5%. Stay tuned, folks. We're coming back with our man Kevin Dix from Schwab Network Fast Market. Be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. This portion of the morning market kickoff is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. We got the S&P futures negative by about 13 points right now, trading at 52.47. We got the 10-year down about 10 ticks at 109.13 on the Thinkorswim platform. That's got about a yield right now, about 4.41%. To talk about some of the jobs data this morning, the market action, let's jump over to our man Kevin Hinks. Every trading day, folks. 12 noon Eastern time from the Schwab Network right here on Tiger TV. Fast Market with your host, Kevin Hinks and Tom White. And we got another Fast Market this morning, and we got wages, Kevin, in those numbers of ADP. They are rising, man. Good morning. Good morning, Tommy. Yeah, <clears throat> if you look at what really stood out from the ADP report was more leisure and hospitality jobs, 63,000, and the median annual pay level of job on job changers. Now, job stayers, median annual pay level $59,000 and up 5.1%, but job changers up 10%. That combined with some comments out of Rafael Bostic so far this morning, have yields higher, have the dollar pretty much unchanged. Like I said, the dollar is a different story right now because of very loud comments by the Bank of Japan saying they'll support their currency, but... Um, Looking at the overall, Rafael Bostic making comments that he sees one rate cut this year, and it's the fourth quarter. He doesn't see the, uh, the, mar the 
hitting two percent target until early twenty twenty six, Tommy. So some interesting comments out of Rafael Basic, who's frankly becoming a very high profile member of the you know, pretty interesting stuff coming out of the Atlanta Fed this morning. I, I appreciate your take on those two stories. Those are the ones that probably hit me hardest this morning as well in terms of the impact, those wages. I had it up on a chart as you were talking there. And, boy, talk about an uptick on those wages. Now, you know, you back things up into the middle of 2022 and you had job changers at 15 percent. You back it up to basically a year ago. You were just under 15 percent. But we just had numbers that were – far below 10 percent so you're talking about an uptick on job changes and boy if we get an acceleration in wages very difficult in my opinion to maybe make the case that we need those rate cuts it seems like it's been a constant battle man we've talked for so long the market gets ahead of itself things get repriced things change over a period of two to three weeks and now we're seeing that conversation shift yet again and uh we go forward from there we'll see where we go uh we got some different equities with movement this morning. I know we're kind of in a little bit of a lull, of course. We just kicked off the second quarter. We're April 3rd coming in. But do you guys have any individual equities, Kevin, that you're talking about coming up on Fast Market at 12 today? Oh, did I lose him? Where are you? Oh. There he is. I got you, Kevin. Go for it. Ah, we got a tough connection, I think, this morning. Yeah. We're fighting. We're fighting. Maybe. All right. We'll see if we can get him back. All right. I think we lost him. Folks, check it out. They're going to be talking equities. You know they are. Uh, we got some equities moving today. We'll see if we get it back here. But, yeah, check out that chart like Kevin was talking about, man. How about that number? 10% for changing wages for job changes. And as I talked about in the beginning of the program, pretty remarkable when you start compounding the number over a two and three year basis. Listen, it's the same deal we're dealing with with inflation, right? People tell you the grocery bills, you know, they feel like they're 30, 35% above where we're at. Well, they are because you're pricing it versus what, three or four years ago. Okay, we were having a conversation in the den a few months back. And I remember my dad was doing his program. So how long was COVID? It was three years ago. No, it was four years ago. Four years ago, COVID hit, man. Four years ago and change now, which is just remarkable. Maybe you had one year where the inflation wasn't going up, but a year into it, man, you know, you back it up. Look at these numbers, right? Basically, we've been dealing with three years of rapid inflation. Those numbers have come down. You can probably make a legitimate case that inflation might be in the 3% range right now. That's going to vary depending on who you ask. Uh, but that number, in terms of rising, you're talking about a 10% number right now. And, boy, you add the 10% for job changers and just even staying with job stayers, right? Job stayers, it is remarkable when you add the 5% we're at this March, you add the 7% where we were at last March in 2023, and you add, what, an 8% number you were at the March before that. 8 plus 7 plus 5 is 20% wage rises just for people in the last three years staying in their jobs and you could probably make the case that hasn't even kept up with inflation which is the most remarkable point of it all all right we got a caller we got our man we love to hear from him in the mornings mike from somerville mike good morning what's happening brother tommy 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 i love that voice what's happening your buddy's losing his voice. I know, I know. It's, it's still no, there, I love it. I love but, it. I'm always, it's, it's, you got a great, you got a great accent, great voice, great energy, man. Uh, I can right. hardly tell. I can hear it a little. Hopefully you're doing well. What's going on this morning, Mike? Well, Tommy, we got Eric uh, out there listening again, as always, and he had a nice okay. little streak there. Yeah. He had a nice streak, but uh, we're calling to ask about what your feelings are on NVIDIA. Well, that's an easy question. Only only everybody in the whole world wants to know what NVIDIA is going to do. Uh, boy, you talk, right? You talk about a stratospheric run, man. Holding up really well at 900 bucks. I mean, how do you make the case to, to go against NVIDIA? You know, that's the tough deal, man. I saw it pop up here from my producer sending it over. Um, what's, what's your man Eric looking to do? Is this a short-term trade? Do you know? Are you looking longer term? Is this something that you're looking to move out? Uh, you know, a sweet nothing but short-term trades, buddy. He's got nothing but short -term. small okay. caps in his 401k, but any okay. talk to you is, yes, is definitely a short-term trade. 
Well, let's you know the the small caps on the 401k. I'd be a little bit careful of that one, man. You know, I understand the the theory in terms of you know you're underperforming there. Maybe you get a little bit of rebalancing and and the the small caps. I'm just jumping over before you do it. You know, we're well off the highs I of 24. I love it. I love it, Tommy. Two for one there. I love Two it. Two for one. You know, I've heard my dad talk about it before, and it's a great point. You know, it's like how do you get away from the companies that are crushing the world right now? You know, um, and that's what you kind of do if you go into the small caps. So keep that in mind and they've had a heck of a run from 1638 to above 2100 but the the future is, is seems to be these bigger companies man and there's no bigger company run the show right now than nvidia and i think we're at the forefront of everything now with that said okay what is remarkable here is that i've had this on my chart for a while you start in a, a to b c to d basically at the end of 2022 on nvidia you're at about 108 you come up to the b point in August of 2023, about a nice round number of 500. So you got a $400 run from 100 to 500. You don't even do a 382. You basically just pull back a 236. You pull back to about 400 bucks. And then what do you do? You trade up to 900. Now, you trade up to 974, which is absolutely remarkable. Um, hang with us for the break, Mike. Can you hang with us? I'll hold. Okay, we'll finish up the conversation on the video, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with our man Mike from Somerville. We'll be right back from the opening bell. Stay tuned. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archive live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Welcome back, folks. We got the S&Ps negative by 10. We kick off the trading session. We're talking with our man, Mike, from Somerville, and we're talking the hottest stock in the world, man, NVIDIA. So, Mike, jumping into this, man. So, you know, the point of that A to B, C to D is, boy, you have quite an extension. Pretty remarkable that you've actually accelerated above that A to B, C to D point, which would have put you at almost uh, 800. No, that brings you up to 974. Now, on a weekly basis, okay, the week of March 4th, we did about 346 million shares. That was the spike high of 974. Following week, March 11th, we do 322. So you kick it off. The spike high is 346 million. Next week, 322. Next week after that is 288. The next week after that is 208, which was last week. That was a shortened week. But even if you take the average of the days, you multiply it by five, you're still doing 260 million. So again, you go what? 346 million shares, 322, 288. 260 declining volume numbers as you're kind of teetering up here and what do we have happening we got yields man and yields seem like they are going to be staying high for some time and that's going to be um, a headwind against some of these growth equities so i like it man i like it on a short-term basis you know it's a it's a it's a high risk trade of course shorting a stock like nvidia hopefully eric knows that i bet he does um and, and yeah but i like it you know it's because you look at those volume numbers you, you factor in the yield numbers right now and yeah, we got a little bit of market weakness right now. We got a little bit of a rollover going on right now in this market. And, you know, on a longer term basis, that's why I asked, I can't imagine betting against NVIDIA because it seems like we are at the forefront of some pretty remarkable accelerations in AI. But on a short term basis and with what's happening with yields, yeah, I can see the, the basis. And when you add the volume numbers in there, I mean, I just got it up on a thinkorswim platform and it's pretty obvious you got declining volume right from the spike of 974. And so we'll see where it goes. But, you know, I would I would make sure you got to stop in there because, boy, these things are just through the roof and you never know when the next run's going to be on a stock like NVIDIA, man. You could be at a thousand in a heartbeat. Yeah. Tom, what do you think about the semis in general? You think um I mean, we're, we're, you know, we're astronomically high here, I think. Uh, we, we are, and that's on a short-term basis. I completely agree with you. But the exponential growth right now that is going on when it comes to chips and the, the demand for chips across the board, it's, it's very difficult. And this is myself, not everybody else, not you. It is very difficult for humans in general to understand, grasp, and comprehend exponential growth. It just is such a, right. a phenomenon when you're doing it that I, I, I feel like on a, on a medium to longer term basis, man, that things are going higher. Now, Taiwan Semi, you know, they're dealing with the earthquake going on today, and it's pretty remarkable. Even with the earthquake going on over there, Taiwan Semiconductor is not even negative this morning, Mike, which I think speaks oh. volumes. You catch a bid. You were down to oh. 138 on the open from about 140. Oh. And just like that, you actually have Taiwan <laughs> Semiconductor flat on the session. They're down by 10 pennies, and that's with the S&Ps off by 9 and the NASDAQ 100 off by 70. So... Um, yeah, I'd be careful. Shorten. I mean, every story I'm reading, man, right? It's like AI and folks get your head into AI because it is going right. to change the world. And it's remarkable when you think about, I mean, Mike, think about where we've gone in the last like 25 years or so from 1999, where the Internet kind of starts to take over. Right. Everything I'm yeah. reading from 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 the smartest people out there are saying the next 20 years are going to put the last 25 years to shame in terms of the changes that are going to occur. Because, yes, the Internet changed our lives, but AI is going to change it in ways that we haven't even comprehended in terms of what is capable. And so when I do that, yeah. when I look at, you know, I was reading an article about Taiwan Semiconductor on my program on Monday talking about the gentleman that founded that company. He started it at the age of 55 and just talking about where they started transistors and where they are now i think intel the first one had like 2000 transistors and now the most recent nvidia chip has 200 billion transistors wow. um how wow. would how would the, the human mind can't comprehend um that number you know we can't comprehend right. 200 billion then the mind can't comprehend it man it's just too big of a number and then that's per a chip that's per a chip and imagine the production oh. that is going on when you got 200 billion transistors per a chip 
Um, so, oh you know, God. longer term basis, man. And there is going to be extreme volatility. So, you know, kudos yeah. to Eric. I'm sure he's looking for some volatility, man. You're going to get it. That's for sure. On a short term basis. Yeah, you're going to have some wild swings, man. And we've seen it already happen. You know, you saw what NVIDIA did. Um, that was one of the greatest short opportunities when we came into the highs of 2021. This thing was trading at 346 and came all the way back to 108, right? So don't get caught up in that thing. But when you look out years, yeah, I think it's going to be a change that we uh, struggle to comprehend right now. And I think the semis, well, man, on a longer term basis. Well, yeah. my, my famous my famous NVIDIA trade was about four, three months ago when I sold it at 510. And I made a lousy probably $10 on it. Yep. Hey, yep. Story of my nobody life, could have, listen, and that was probably like bumping up against the highs of 2023 when the stock went from 100 to, yeah, right about 500. And the most remarkable thing yeah. about this, Mike, too, you make a great point, <clears throat> from the market lows of 2022 in NVIDIA, right, that was October of 2022 at 108, you catapulted to about 500 in August of 2023. So that was about a 10-month run that this thing went from about 100 to 500, right? And you can make the case that that was like a run that was stratospheric, right? Well, what did it just do? It only went from, from October of 400. It only took till the beginning of March to get to 1,000. So somehow it dwarfs the run that it had from October to August, which was its own stratospheric run. So on a short-term basis, yeah, I was you might get that, a little. I was in late yeah. stage of that October run when it got to 510. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, Thinking totally. that was high. You know, get, get hey, you made, you made your money. You know what I mean? You had it for four days. <laughs> I, think you, I think you made an okay call there, man. You know, I mean, that's where you're never smarter than the market. And that's why on a shorter term basis, yeah, I can see maybe a little bit of volatility here. Um, to the downside because boy this run um, we're in a little bit of euphoria right now on the AI run for sure it's going to take a little bit of time the world is pricing in some dramatic runs but on a longer term basis I think that it's very difficult and I always try and keep this in mind because it's a great point folks overall in mind the human mind struggles to comprehend exponential growth so keep that in mind when you think on a longer term basis that you can grasp where we're going over could you imagine telling somebody mike like even you know 10 20 years ago that companies are going to be producing chips that have 200 billion transistors within a single chip i don't think that that um, that's something that you'd be able to comprehend so imagine where we'll be Tom, in 10 I, years I, I from right now i say that all the time about all aspects of life like you just it's, said it's not a good thing to keep in mind chip, not just about it is it's about everything like we said it is you can get it to where we were 20 years ago Oof. I mean, I try and imagine, Mike, where life is going to be like when my son is my age. And that's 40 years. Whoo, baby. Exactly, that's a, buddy. <laughs> exactly. Right? Totally. And you know what, Mike, buddy? You've got to buy a stock and hold it for those 40 years, right, buddy? You do. That's what you got to do. Compounding, man. That's, 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 that's how exponential growth occurs. You compound it. And um, we all see the benefits of it. So you're on the right path, man. Listen, uh, send Eric our best. Real quick thing, I'll let you go. Leah's got a Fidelity account. She's got one share, one share, one share, one share, right? And that's, yep. that's it. You know what I mean? At least she owns some stock. You know what I mean? Get it done. Don't touch it, right? Make sure you're in there and let it run, baby. There you go, buddy. Mike, have a great one, man. Great to hear from you. You too, Tom. Love you. Stay Bye. tuned, folks. We're coming back with our man, Teddy Kegstat, for a good conversation. We'll be right back. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. 
While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. We got S&Ps negative by just seven points right now, trading at 52.53. We jump over to the dollar index. We got the dollar right now trading at 104.65. And now we get to talk to our man, Teddy Kegstad, as we do each and every Wednesday at 40 past the hour. Folks, head on over to the front page of TFNN. Under the newsletter tab, you'll see the Tiger Forex report by our man, Teddy. You can check that out for only $97 a month. You got issues each week on Monday morning. Updates throughout the week when warranted. As each newsletter we have, folks, 30-day money-back guarantee. You got nothing to risk. And it is a great time, man, as we've got things rocking yet again as we talk to our man, Teddy. Teddy Kegstat. Teddy Kegstat, good morning. Good morning. Lots of good moves and a little bit of divergence coming up today. What do you want to talk about first? I want to talk about it all, man. Where do we kick things off? Um, so maybe maybe on the yield conversation. We got some private payrolls, of course, this morning. Yields, you've, you've taught us so well. Um, you know, such an important component, of course, with where currency drive seems like at least uh, in the U.S. that the trend is we got some higher yields, man. We got wage data that is accelerating. We have, you know, some Fed speak out there today. The conversation seems to be shifting yet again with maybe less cuts than the market's looking for. And we got the 10 year now above 4.4 percent. Maybe we kick it off there. Well, I have to say, I guess I got it right, huh? You know, for months, <laughs> for months, I've been going against the news and the media and everybody calling for, you know, multiple rate hikes. At one point, they were looking for seven or cuts, rather, you know, and then it got dropped down to finally three, which then got pushed out to the summer. And now we're going towards. And I've been saying, I'm like, you know, before you get too gung ho on all these rate cuts, you know, you got to follow the economic numbers. And the reality is. Inflation never left, and it's kicking its heels up in a big way, and I think it's going to really come roaring back over the course of the next, like, six months for sure. And if that's the case, you know, a quarter point, let's say that they even uh, do two cuts. We've had this conversation. A point, a cut, one already, already a quarter point for sure is factored in the market already, but almost two quarter, uh, quarter points, which means almost a half a point. If that's the case – we only really have we've already set the ceiling which means that you if you wanted to refinance you got your shot already you're not going to yeah. get a better shot you know so get back to that reality and that means that higher yields lower pricing you know it's going to be a big deal it's going to probably shore up the dollar a little bit and that's you know without the you know it's just being market driven that's without the fed doing anything you know and the fact that 
they're becoming less likely to cut as much as was originally expected by the consensus, that means globally that the central banks are all going to be looking at that. It's going to have an impact on a lot of currencies. It means now like for instance, the U.S. dollar, Japanese yen, you know, oil is making making uh, new highs. Yields are now uh, co going higher once again. Well, what's the BOJ going to do, even if they intervene? How much of an impact is it going to have on the yen? Not much, not unless they go on a really aggressive tear with raising uh, rates. And I, <laughs> if that happens, the empire is definitely crumbling, you know, over there. So, and I don't think that's going to be a, um, a topic of our conversation in the future. You know, I chuckle a little bit, man, but you've had some great calls. Outstanding. Kudos, man, because this market, as it plays out, it is pretty remarkable how the market has gotten so far ahead of where it deserved to be. And hindsight, of course, is 2020. But it is pretty remarkable that as we continually shift forward three and six months, the conversation just keeps changing and those cuts keep getting pushed back. You had Rafael Bostic saying one cut at the end of the year right now. And like you said, I mean, where do we go from there, man? And that wage data this morning, 10% for job changers, we're still above 5% for people staying in the same job. And that's off of numbers over the last couple of years. You know, you're doing 7%, you're doing 8 and now you're still doing 5 And those 5% numbers are based off of the numbers of last year, which are up 12 or 13% over the prior two years from that. And so it's it's pretty remarkable. Um, we got some hot jab jobs data a little bit today, and we get that big number on Friday. But yeah, and uh, I appreciate you jumping to the yen. That was going to be the next one. We are now above. I got it up right now on the Thinkorswim platform as I'm talking to you. We're almost pushing highs that we saw a week ago when I was talking to you. And you had the drop off from that high mm -hmm. of 151.97 about. We dropped all the way to 151.02 on my chart. And we are right now back at 151.92. That entire drop off gets wiped out. For people looking to the yen, I know you've given us some of your analysis. You always do a great job in the Tiger Forex report, man. I always make sure I check that out on Monday mornings. For people watching the yen, I know it's an important component. Pretty remarkable what gold has been doing, even with the yen where it is, but obviously more components in gold than just the yen. Um, but what are your feelings kind of risk reward right now as we're approaching some <clears> of the <throat> weakest levels we've seen? And you laid out the case, but any price levels for those traders out there looking at the yen? Uh, yeah, I can see a spiking around the 153 half area. Um, right now, today, we're making new highs. Now, there is a little bit of divergence going on today. You know, um, you got to realize that yields are, are ri rising, oil is rising, but the dollar index is pulling back today. You know, the euro is up, yeah. you know. So, I mean, and this is off of the, you know, it's, I look at it as a profit taking move. You know, the trend, no matter what, you're coming off of new highs in the dollar index, meaning new lows in the euro US dollar off of yesterday. You know, so what I think you're seeing is a profit taking move. So I'd be careful. You know, I said this before like, um, I, I'm bullish the US dollar yen. I'm looking to buy breaks on it. I'd be very careful selling above this area. You know, I'd be a happier seller at a 153 half than I would be at right now at 150, you know, 190. 152 nice. you know I think you you can get squeezed that way you know if you're gonna try and fade that market I would be very cautious with that if you're gonna do that try and highball it more than lowball it you know um, and as far as you know being a bull I'd look to buy breaks I'd be careful buying in the area where you're at because you're in the chop zone so you're, you're you're it's all about your time value of money there where you can be up a little down a little you're going nowhere with that position you know what I mean so uh, if we get back down towards the 150 area, and especially if yields are still strong and oil's high, it's a great buy. You know, that's where you want to look at it. Then you can look at it as a profit taking correction and look to buy, you know, for some solid support there. And then maybe nice. trade in a range. I think we're going to be probably trading in a range with the yen between 148 and 153 over the next few months, unless we have a major move in interest rates or oil. So if we see oil above 100, you know, getting to 110, and if you see yields really pushing, you know, higher levels, well, then you could see the yen up at 155, 156, or even 158 in, over the next few months. Then you're going to probably have BOJ intervention. But once again, what is kind of impact is that really going to have? Yeah. It won't have any, especially with, I'm sorry, with ours, you know, being pushed out with our Fed. No, I was just going to say, you can't be bigger than the market sometimes, like you say, man, no matter what they do, if the forces are behind it. Uh, I love the way that you give us those exact clear levels, for, um, Teddy. It's great, man. And you jump to crude. I just want to get a little take, man, crude. Talk about higher prices, man. We've been talking about it a bit. 85.77. Um, you gave some of those numbers right mm -hmm. there. 
in in the yen. And I know you even last week you walked us through so well the fundamentals of that crude market. You referenced it right now, talking about the yen, the dollar, etc. Um, but any price levels for the crude traders out there as we're looking at a higher highs and higher lows, basically since the end of last year, right now. Well, today we hit our upside target number one. We had the critical resistance zone that I had in the Forex report that we were bobbling in the last week and a half. Over the past few sessions, we've gone from the bottom of that band all the way up to the top part and breached it yesterday with a close above it. And now we hit this target. It's a strong area. If we get above one, basically 86 bucks, we're going up to 91, baby. I love it. Folks, check out the Tiger Forex report. You heard the clarity that Teddy delivers, man. Teddy, thank you so much for the nine minutes, man. I look forward to talking to you next week, brother. Take care, Tommy. See you next week. Have a great one. Folks, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. It's the 22nd anniversary of the Gold Report. Can you believe it? We've taken 22 trips around the sun together, and we have many more to come. This year alone, the Gold Report has returned over 50%, and I want you to come along for the ride. I provide in-depth analysis of the gold market as a whole, in addition to providing outlooks on individual mining equities. For a limited time, you can save 35% off the monthly price for as long as you subscribe. 35% savings will be applied to the current monthly price, and it will stay with your subscription forever. With gold pushing all-time highs, gold equities trading higher, and inflation still raging, this is a great time to try my newsletter, The Gold Report. First-time subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Just enter promo code 22 years at checkout and you'll see the 35% savings applied to your subscription price. And this deal will stay with your subscription for as long as you subscribe. Don't forget, just enter promo code 22 years at checkout. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We got S&Ps off by five, NASDAQ 100 negative by 55. You got the Dow up by one. Going to be a big day for Disney as they're voting on uh, a few things in terms of whether they change up in terms of the board, etc. Disney off six tenths percent. Stay tuned for news from Disney potentially today. And yeah, uh, Taiwan. Hopefully, 
Heart goes out to them, keeping them in their thoughts, man. Just the humanity perspective, let alone the chips. 7.5 quake, man. Last night I was in my office just taking care of a few things, maybe like 8, 9 o'clock at night, the news hitting, um, watching some of the videos. Absolutely remarkable. Some of the visual visuals out there. Look at these buildings, man. Just absolutely remarkable. Some of these videos and visuals that are going on out there. Taiwan Quake puts world's most advanced chips at risk, but nonetheless, right, you get Taiwan Semi, as I was discussing with our man Mike. Actually flat today. As you get the market a little bit negative, they bounce back for Taiwan Semi. And you heard the ad, folks, uh, the gold report. Check it out on the front page of TFNN. That sale running through this week alone. We sent out an email over the weekend. We included even an email on Monday with this week's gold report just for everybody uh if you didn't get that folks feel free to send me an email we'll send it along it went out to everybody but tommy at tfnn.com is my email address this is a glimpse of some of the positions that were in there as of last friday okay now it's been a heck of a running gold of course okay all of these equities above where they were as of last friday's close you're talking about 16 percent 11 percent almost 70 percent 12 percent 35 percent some big numbers folks and it is not too late in that gold market man i mean look where the dollar yen is right imagine if you get a shift here imagine if you get some dollar weakness in the mix let alone the run that gold has had you almost have the yen at the weakest level you've seen what was the number since like 1990 i think that is 1990 you got yen weak and it's approaching again that 15197 price point man you're at 15192 we probably hit it today we'll see where it goes you see those numbers Teddy was talking about right 153 153 and a half and uh great conversation with our man Teddy as always folks even if you don't trade forex check out the tiger forex report you can learn so much from what Teddy's talking about whether it's currencies yields dollar uh Everything we do, 90 day, uh, excuse me, 30 day money back guarantee. Even that report special, folks. Lock in that 35% savings. Stay tuned. We got our man Basil Chapman. He's coming up next with the Tiger Technicians Hour, and I'll see you tomorrow, folks. Have a great Wednesday, everybody.